So today I'm going to talk about How Could You Murder Us, um, written by Sheree Lois. It's a standalone urban novel, right? Okay, the main characters of this book are Devin, Shade, and Tata. So Devin and Shade are engaged to get married. Tata is Shade's best friend. So the whole book started out with Shade um, getting ready for her bachelor party and Devin de getting ready for his bachelor bachelor party. So it worked out that they went separate ways and um, Devin, when he was at his bachelor party, his stripper of ex-girlfriend was there and she was trying to seduce him. Unfortunately, she kissed him and his stupid brother posted on um, Facebook because he went live, right? So anyway... While Shade was at her bachelor party, she saw the video and got furious. And she was outside and somebody held her up and robbed her, right? Okay, no problem. So she got robbed and beat, whatever. And um, they um, basically, she got in the hospital and then she was like, Oh, I'm not going to um, get married to you because you're the reason why I got mugged. They stole my grandmother's ring. You're the reason why um, I'm in the hospital. She went off on him. She's like, How could you kiss her? And, like, basically, he was in the doghouse, right? Which I understand, because he, he was wrong. But he didn't push her off either, but he was drunk and high, right? All right, no problem. Weeks on end, he, um, no, sorry, before 10 weeks, days on end, he was trying to get back in her good grace. He was apologizing for everything and said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to make it up to you, blah, blah, blah. She didn't want to hear nothing to hear it, right? Turned into a week or two. Now, this trifling girl. Um, saw a guy in Starbucks, right? She, he was hot and everything. He was cute. He had grills. He, he looked like he was a dope boy, right? Okay, no problem. You get your dope boy, right? Okay. She, I guess she wanted revenge because, um, everything that happened. So she was attracted by him. His name was Quest. So she was attracted by him and everything. And long story, she saw him and then she left, right? A week later or so, he, she was waiting on Tata, and Quest was there. And Quest was like, oh, let me get your number. I just want to be your friend and go from there. But the thing that get me is this, girl, you are engaged. Whether he was whether he was he messed up or not, you're still engaged. How are you going to entertain another man and talk about you want to be your friend? The way he approached you, you already know he just fool didn't want to be your friend. He wanted something else, right? No, this trick was trifling. Anyway, I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I said, she ain't going to mess up that bad. Man, she messed up bad, and she disappointed me big time. Anyway, so when Tata came in, um, she told Tata what was going on, flirting. So she's like, oh, Devin's a good guy. You can't be doing this to him. She's like, I'm just his friend, and yada, yada. You know, we already knew what was going to come of that, right? Lo and behold, this trick um, was at the mall, and Quest was there. He's like, oh, I'm going to come through, and blah, blah, blah. He flirted with her in public. And Devin mom saw. And Devin went mom went back and told him. So he tricked her. He's like, oh, I'm going to town for a weekend and I'll be right back. All right, no problem. This trick called Quest and said, oh, yeah, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. He said, oh, come on, let's hang out. She's like, oh, no, I don't need to. I'm, um, I'm engaged. She's like, it's just an hour. She's like, okay, I'm only going for an hour. We already knew what was going to happen, right? And that's exactly what happened. This trick slept with him. Yep. And then Devin found out and he was snapped. He snapped. He was like, Where are you coming from? Blah blah blah. He's like, I was on a Tata house and blah blah blah. So I'm like, Oh Tata, you got good girl code now, you gotta cover for your girl. Cause she messed up. The benefit of the doubt. She messed up. So anyway, Tata did the girl code and cover for her. So I was like, Okay, good. So she went back and break um and break it off with Quest and whatever. But the damage was already done because yes, he kissed another girl, but you slept with another man. Like seriously. I was like, I can't believe you. And I was rooting for both of you. And I'm like, I can't believe you. Anyway, long story short, Quest turned out he's um he's not a drug dealer, but he basically robbed from like people that has money and take it for himself. He robbed cars, drug dealers, whatever he could do. So anyway, Quest boy ended up robbing Devin and he shot him. And while he shot him, um, What's her name was there. So she's like, oh my God, they killed him. Blah, blah, blah. So instead of calling the police, she ran to Tata. So Tata was like, okay, we got to call the police. We got to tell them what happened. So then she was like, oh, but it's going to look bad because it makes it seem like, oh, it was my boyfriend that did it. Um, a boy I was sleeping that killed my fiance. She's like, well, you got to tell the truth. And that's the truth, right? She's like, it doesn't look right. Okay. So Tata said, fine, come to my grandfather's house and blah, blah, blah. So she went to Tata's grandfather's house and Tata was hiding out. But lo and behold, 
Tata was playing two-sided because Tata wanted um, revenge for what Shade did back when they were just um, in high school. So I was like, what? That the plot thickens. So now this is where the whole twist and plot come into play. So I'm like, okay, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? So it turned out that Tata set Shade up for Quest to kill her, which he did. Right? He killed her. And while he was, um, while he killed her, um, she was like, make sure she suffered because you deserve everything you're getting. So I'm like, wait, what the hell's going on? I'm missing some story. Long story short, there was backstory. So it turned out that while Tata and Shade was friends back in the day, Shade was set up, set up Tata for her father to rape her. I was like, you did what? You, that's your girl. How you gonna do that? Oh, but uh, I'm not crying, fine. So, oh, let me back up. Ta Shade have a sister named Shawnee, and Shawnee really didn't um, talk to Shade or the mom. So I was wondering, why was she not talking to them? Lo and behold, Shade was in the whole plot when Shawnee was being raped by her own stepfather. So she was like, oh, he raped me because I'm not his biological daughter. So he's been raping me since um, I was eight. I'm like, what in the world is going on? And the mom was blind to it, and Shade didn't know, and didn't say shit. I was like, nah, 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 nah. This, nah, nah. I said, nah, nah, this bitch gotta go. She gotta go. She gotta go. And I'm so glad that she did, because, man, I wanted to kill her. I can't believe it. I was rooting for her in the beginning. I said, oh, man, why is Sheree always killing the girl, or why I'm making the girl so bad? Nah, nah, nah. I took that back real quick when I read the ending. I'm like, nah, this bitch gotta go. She gotta go. She gotta go. She had to go, because... I couldn't believe it. You set up your friend, and it's not only her. She did it to other friends for her father to come and molest them. You don't do that. Even if your father's wrong, you would tell your mom, and then you get your, fa your, mom, your father arrested because how do you not know that he was going to turn on you next? You know what I mean? Like, common sense, girl. I was so disappointed in her, but I was glad that she got what she deserved because she was a hot mess. I was so glad, though, that Tata got her for happily ever after because her and Quest got together and they got pregnant and she got her baby. Well, she was pregnant. We didn't know she had the baby yet. However, Devin was still mourning Shade because he loved her and I understand, but he survived his shot and um, he still loved her. He went to visit her on her birthday at the graveside and everything. He was heartbroken and he still loved her. But if he really knew what type of person Shade was, he would have pissed on her grave and said, bitch. Peace. You know what I mean? So, anyway, guys, I think you guys will really love it. It's called How Could You Murder Us, written by Sheree Lewis. Forgive me if I was a little bit passionate about it, but this book had me in an uproar, as I said before. She did a great job. Check it out. How Could You Murder Us by Sheree Lewis. Bye, guys.